Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new Genshin Impact video. You know what today is and I am very excited. This is actually going to be my second special program that I watch and react to. Today, I'm going to be watching version 4.3 special program and I truly have no idea what to expect. The last special program I watched was absolutely amazing so much fun uh and i just can't wait to watch this one so if all of you are excited make sure to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and let's watch the version 4.3 special program okay everyone i assume that you know why we're here right i've checked the perimeter the coast is all clear all right then it's time time to shop for the latest fashions at chioria boutique oh yeah huh. Uh, don't you think something sounds a little off about that line? Yeah, this is Chioria Boutique that we're talking about. I feel like we need something that sounds, I, I don't know, a little more extravagant, maybe? Mm, uh, we'll have yeah. to talk about it later. The lights have been turned on and the audience is already here. The program <laughs> is starting. Oh, um, yeah, we're here. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.3 special program. Wow, thanks. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> See, our show is sponsored by Chioria Boutique, one of the leading fashion houses in Fontaine. But before we go any further, let's take a moment to watch the version 4.3 trailer. Wow, a trailer out of the gate. Heck yes. That can be a pretty technical job. Are you really up to it? Whoa, hello, kitty cats. You put no thought into finding a good camera angle, and the characters weren't in the show. Clapper. <laughs> Positions, everyone. <laughs> nice to meet you. I am Navia, the president, leader, commander in chief, and Navia. And boss of Spina di Rosula. I've seen a lot of you say that you're you're going to be pulling for her. I had no idea who she is, but now I do. Let's go. Oh, what the cannons? Jeez. All right. Cameras oh, I love her. I wish I was able to pull for her. Arena's really kicking things into gear as the director. Props and lighting set the scene. Actors can get their makeup done. Extras go over your positions. Camera ready. Get the clapper board. Actors to your position. Lights. Camera. Action. <laughs> Not villain. I love you, Rita. Our mother. <laughs> You're just as naive as her. Did you really think two muskets would be enough to defeat me? Your crimes are evident. Whoa! Let's go! So she has a musket. Drop your weapon. Yo, let's go. Dang! That was awesome. The were all on point. Let's keep that take. We'll move on to the next scene. Uh, you mean? Did you really think you'd get away? Oh no! Chivalrous. You can keep your mora, and you can go to hell. Oh dang! What? Excellent. That was beyond mesmerizing. Was that real? A film that'll make some serious. Waves in Fontaine. Uh, not the kind of waves that drown people. I mean, the good kind what the? of waves. Was that real or was that part of the movie? Wait a minute. Is she evil or was that part of the movie? I'm so confused because if that was real, she just straight up gunned her down. Okay, here we go. I, say that blind optimism isn't the answer. If you want I really love the look of her. She just looks really cool. This one's got your name on it. Very fashionable. I guarantee Klee would be in love with her. The explosion. I'm sorry, can you to appreciate how perfectly Chiori customized Navia's clothes and accessories to reflect her personality? She clearly pays a lot of attention to the small details. Very steampunk. <laughs> Erica, I love how seriously you're taking the sponsorship. It's really great. <laughs> it's important. <laughs> um, while we're on this topic, though, Navia's parasol seems pretty interesting. 
On the outside, it looks like a delicate accessory used to block out the sun, but on the inside, there's actually a secret firearm that can be used to ward off enemies at a moment's notice. It's elegant and fierce all at once. Just like Navia herself. This is the exactly. first time firearms Even are comes to her enemies, in Genshin, Navia is right? Not the type to eschew basic etiquette. With the muskets? So she prefers to maintain appropriate distance while in combat. While using her elemental skill, Navia opens her gunbrella and fires multiple gunbrella. <laughs> that is awesome. Dealing geo damage upon a successful strike. Oh, Ooh, geo. Okay. Time, after using her elemental skill, Navia's normal charged and plunging attack will deal increased damage and become infused with the power of Geo, which cannot be overridden. Now, when Navi is in wow. combat, there are these little markings around her that look like bullets. Yeah. Maybe that's some sort of ammo for the Gunbrella. Oh, yeah. Like yes, specials. You get oh. It. When a character in the party obtains an elemental shard created from the crystallized reaction, Navia will gain crystal shrapnel charges. Navia will consume Dang. these charges after unleashing her elemental Yo, skin. she is her awesome. increases with the number of charges that she's accumulated. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you're saying that Navia's elemental skill becomes more powerful if she works together with mm -hmm. other characters in the party to trigger the crystallized It's like a straight-up shotgun. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Navia's elemental verse calls forth the Rosula Dorata Salute, which unleashes a massive bombardment on opponents in front of her periodically dealing geo that's so damage. cool i should also mention that navia will accumulate crystal shrapnel charges at certain intervals if she strikes enemies with the rosula dorada salute Ooh, now that salute is spectacular <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> I heard that the Spina de Rosula likes to perform Jeez, that thing is strong. important negotiations. You know, stay alive. To celebrate future success. And don't misunderstand, you guys. It's not an intimidation tactic at all. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's just the Spina's way of showing respect. Get it, Navia! Yeah, 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 totally. <laughs> not intimidating at all. No. <laughs> As the president of the Spina di Rosula, Navia is always trying to collect the latest intel by exploring all corners of Fontaine. When Navia is dispatched on a 20-hour expedition in Fontaine, rewards oh. gain will be increased. Okay, so... You know I actually never Navia use that. <laughs> of the Spina di Rosula. How many of you so use the expedition? I think we should bring up Spina's contributions to averting Fontaine's prophesized crisis. Hmm. I mean, it was all thanks to Navia's leadership. Exactly. Some people even lost their lives during that disaster. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm certain that those events weighed heavily on Navia, but she remained tough and committed to leading the Spina. Yeah. Yeah, and while we're on the topic of Fontaine's crisis, though the prophesized dangers are over, the town is probably still busy rebuilding everything, right? Mm -hmm. I bet Navia's going to be occupied with that for a long time. What happened time. in Fontaine? Oh, definitely. That's something that travelers will be able to see for themselves. Navia's story quest, the Rosa Multiflora chapter, will become available in version 4.3. The Spina will be working diligently to rebuild Poisson. Though repairing the houses will be straightforward, the emotional distress may be much more difficult to address. If you're curious about how Navia and her crew are going to proceed, then be sure to check it out. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah me I'm too. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. <laughs> okay, so now that we've introduced Navia, it's time for Chevrus to be in the <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm really okay, curious about her. She's a newcomer. You probably can't wait to learn more about her. So let's get right into it. Okay. Um, hmm. How should I introduce her? Ladies uh, and gentlemen, the executor the of, the of justice. Patrol. It's a Fontanian organization that handles oh. all sorts of difficult cases and dangerous criminals. Ooh. <laughs> she doesn't like to appear in public without good cause, mm -hmm. so if you happen to run into her it's likely that you're in some sort of trouble but oh. but as long as you're a law-abiding citizen there's no need to worry <laughs> a chevrous <laughs> is actually really easy to get along with outside of work she's a sniper oh, feastos are just the best snack they're easy to carry Ooh, oh, those look so good sauces. Final warning. so both characters use spears and guns. Hands where I can see them. Oh my. Um, what? That 
was so fire. Yeah, <laughs> literally. I was talking about her skills. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at her idol animation. I oh. love that she loves snacks. Mm -hmm. that, that is, is so, so cool. Awesome. She's a girl's girl, and she gets it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sitting she there eating it. some snacks. <laughs> She's not exactly what you'd expect from the captain of the special patrol, though, right? I guess that's kind of true. I mean, Chevros' work as a captain can be really stressful. I mean, I can't blame the girl for indulging every once in a while to relieve some stress. She even adjusts her training regimen to make up for her snacking habits. In fact, she trains more than any other member of the special patrol. Her platoon really admires her for that. Wow, okay, she's got some willpower. That is awesome. She's really admirable. The special patrol prioritizes combat ability above all else. So the organization often attracts some eccentric personalities. Okay. Mm, yeah. <laughs> the special patrol used to have problems with insubordination, but ever since Chevrolet took control, everyone has fallen into line, which does not surprise me at all. <laughs> she commands respect among her peers, and she's a formidable fighter, and she leads by example. Though she demands excellence from her platoon, she holds herself to even higher standards. She always tries to be an example for others to follow, whether it's investigating cases or in marksmanship practice. And it looks like a lot of her skills involve using a musket. She must be a pretty good shot. Mm-hmm, for sure. Chevros and her musket are basically partners in crime. They're inseparable. She definitely knows her way around a firearm. Chevrolet yeah, look at that. Her musket to fire at opponents during her elemental skill. Ooh, I wonder if he can just time after unleashing her elemental skill, use it like Chevrolet a bow. Continuously restore HP to the active character on the field. Oh, she's burst, a healer. Chevrolet fires an explosive grenade with her musket, which will split into secondary explosive shells upon impact. That's uh -huh. cool. Impact. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Wait, I noticed that Chevrolet has bullet yep, she has the same thing her during combat. Can she shoot a special type of ammo? That's right. Chevrolet obtains an overcharged ball when a nearby Dang, party that member is so cool. the overloaded reaction. Holding Chevrolet's elemental skill will consume this special ammo to unleash an even more powerful pyro attack that covers a larger AoE. This attack will also grant an attack buff to all pyro and electro characters oh! in the party. Okay, so that's where the name Overcharged Ball comes from. Uh-huh. Chevrolet actually came up with the name herself. Oh. She was reading a novel that's where the protagonist cool. believed that names held a lot of power. If you give something a cool-sounding name, then you've given yourself an advantage over your enemies. That kind of logic resonated with her, I guess. No. <laughs> well, I guess she has a point. Oh, I should also mention what happens. Yeah, if she's really with cool. All pyro and electro characters. If your party contains at least one character of either type, then triggering the overloaded reaction will cause an opponent's pyro and electro resistances to decrease. Okay, what? so it seems like Chevrolet could really shine in an overload team comp, but. I also did notice that Chevrolet isn't solely limited to a musket. Mm -hmm. She also uses a pole arm in combat. <laughs> okay, honestly, if I were a criminal, I feel like I'd be pretty nervous if she came after. Yeah, that me. is pretty cool. Sure. She has two Most weapons. Most people who have something to hide avoid her like their lives depend on it. And maybe it does. <laughs> in all seriousness, though, that's why Chevrolet. Yeah, is she is so pretty hard. cool. She has to be able to catch a wide variety of cunning criminals who try to evade her at all costs. So when Chevrolet is in your party, stamina consumption from sprinting is decreased. Wow. <laughs> I love that. These two new characters are great. Both of them. So she actually affects the party. I don't know. It's quite so hard a bit. To choose. <laughs> I know. And I. Will make this even harder for you. Oh no. We're about to take a look at what event wishes that travelers can look forward to in version 4.3. The candidate pool for the lead role of our commercial is about to get even bigger. Oh, oh my no. gosh. <laughs> <laughs> in the first half of version 4.3, travelers can look forward to event wishes for Navi. Hey! And a new five star Claymore, Verdict, will also be featured in the weapon event wish. Dang, that is salute. So we'll have returning. Oh, in the no, not and the, the riding Shogun. Time, oh, will no. Also receive a huge drop rate boost. Yay. Be sure to check them out if you're interested. That's awesome. Ugh. Travelers can also look forward to two Ugh. new artifact sets in version 4.3 Song of Days Past and Nighttime Whispers in the Echoing Woods. Ooh. Be sure to keep an eye on future announcements to learn more about them.
New this is artifacts. Like a time for our first break. We've shared a ton of information so far, and I bet travelers could use some time to digest it all. You're right. For <laughs> Definitely. Sure. Let's take a break while we take a look at the second group of redemption codes. The version 4.3 special program is brought to you by Chioria Boutique and will return shortly. Welcome back, everyone. Thank so, you. Thank we've you. We discussed our casting options for the Chioria Boutique commercial, but the content of the commercial is also important, right? Do you have any ideas? Hmm. If we're making a commercial for Chiorio Boutique, then how about we include some event footage of Yeah, Chiori? let's get oh, to the yay! event. Chiori is actually going to appear in the event for version 4.3. What? Hmm. While the travelers have been able to see her store in the Court of Fontaine, they'll finally get to meet her in person. Yes, I know. Travelers can also look forward to meeting Ayaka and Ayato in Fontaine. Chiori suggested that they should stop by, so here they are. So cool. Hey, this is actually the perfect time for a word from our sponsor. An Inazuma-born fashion icon, Chiori. Chioria Boutique is your one-stop shop for the latest and most oh, influential fashion Oh, she's from in Inazuma? <laughs> <laughs> that is right. Chiori is acquainted with the Kamisato siblings because she's also from Inazuma. She actually introduced Ayaka and Ayato to Xavier and recommended that they make the trip to Fontaine for the Fontanalia Film Festival. So exciting! We wow, a film, film festival? festival? Oh. The Fontanalia Festival was established to commemorate the legendary Loch Knights. According to the myths, they went on a quest to search for the Oceanids and eventually welcomed the Hydro Archon Egeria to Fontaine. Mm hmm. It's one of the most important festivals in Fontaine. Like what the Windbloom Festival is. Okay, the so the event is, is a festival ah, so in Fontaine. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> the Fontaine I see. proposed the Fontanalia Film Festival earlier this year. And during this time, the public may submit films for evaluation. The entry with the highest Whoa. score will be given the Farina Award. We're going to be making a movie. Well, we can see Farina working with Ayaka and the others here. So wait. Does this mean that there's a chance that Farina might win the Farina Award? <gasps> okay, now I'm intrigued. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to leave you in suspense. If travelers are curious about what Ayaka and the others are doing in Fontaine or how Farina fared, you'll just have to play the event when the new version becomes available. Hmm. So we know that several friends from Inazuma. I don't know. Be in like Fontaine I, I, I haven't Fontanale played Fontaine, Festival. but travelers have so much more to be excited about. Seems travelers like... will also have the opportunity to participate in a variety of activity booths during the festival. Each one will have a different theme. Ooh. <laughs> First activity booth is the Thousand Pace Interdiction Arc Minute Sharpshooting Zone. In this activity, travelers will use, oh, are we gonna the use a musket and surveillance patrol simulation device to oh! target yep. We can the snipe Hurley Churls? How fun target practice can be. <laughs> and the second oh, that is, awesome. is called Trick Shots, Tricky Lights. In this activity, Ooh. travelers will use the studio special lighting effects to film a fight what scene. The? Take advantage of the buffs brought about by the special lighting effects to defeat an endless stream of opponents and obtain a higher score. So, so very cool. much about Those filmmaking. Special lighting effects are really giving off old movie vibes. Navia's movements are also super very smooth. Very interesting. It's all so atmospheric. Oh, for yeah. sure. But not everyone is enjoying the fun and games. And Travelers action! Will meet a contract employee at the third activity booth. She needs some help with her demanding client. During the activity Extreme Drive, the... travelers will help her test out stabilization mecha balls. What the? Look at how the traveler chases after those stabilization <laughs> mecha balls. Wait okay, a minute. I bet that contract are those, can those are other players. Chased down by that client. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Stabilization mecha balls seem pretty ordinary, but they're actually very agile. They automatically avoid all testers by that moving in the looks opposite direction of your movement. You can find jump boosters around the testing grounds. Travelers can use them to that jump looks like and fun. Further, which is perfect for quickly traversing to the oh, other side of a stabilization mecha ball. They're all over there! Get them! Cool <laughs> we'll have to find a way to herd as many stabilization mecha balls into their target area as possible within the time limit. Who won? The more mecha balls that end up 61. in your area, the more you learn. The oh booth my! Is into the frame. In this activity, travelers will get to shoot their own scenes by experimenting with different camera positions and narration techniques. 
Cool. We get to make a movie. That's yeah. awesome. Travelers might remember. All right. I mean, it's cool, I guess. Azuma, but this seems more professional. Wait. Maybe this can be the inspiration for our commercial. Oh. Now that I think about it, a Fontanian man went to Inazuma to shoot a film. I guess international travel can be a source of artistic inspiration. That must have also been true in Chiori's case, since she opened Chioria's boutique in Fontaine. Ooh, that could be a strong theme for our commercial. Actually, Ayaka and Ayato aren't the only Inazumans traveling abroad in version 4.3. Lukewarm reception. <laughs> yeah, and Ito decided to tag oh, along as man. the boss of the Arataki gang, and he brought his Onikabuto with him. I think he plans to train his beetles for battle. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. Wow. That is very Ito. <laughs> Say that five times fast. And there was also a beetle battle event in version 3.4, right? Ito battles against a super powerful beetle battler. I believe his name was Grandmaster Hanakado. Mm. Yep. Grandmaster Hanakado made an impressive showing during the last beetle battle event. This time, he's made the trip to Liyue with Ito. It seems like the two of them have met a mysterious new beetle battle master. I want to be a beetle batter, beetle battle master. I'm sorry, I can't give that away. Travelers will have to discover their identity during the event. Ah. Aside from meeting the mysterious beetle battle master, travelers can also look forward Yo. to new ways to battle. While the movement and charge mechanics I want to do this from the original event. Travelers can now also instruct Onikabuto to use guard to defend against electro bullet oh, and jet stream dang. Mm -hmm. Make use of the movement, charge, and guard strategies to topple your opponent. Can no we choose our own beetle? Master them, and you'll be ready to tackle the ultimate trial of the strong. Ooh. <laughs> Rip beetle. Trial of the strong. Travelers can look forward to encountering an old friend in the Fontanian countryside. That's right, Ullman came to Fontaine and he brought his treasure map and treasure seeking Seely along with him. Yay! <laughs> Our mini Seely friend is back! <laughs> <laughs> so cute! Travelers can help restore the Seely's vitality by absorbing energy from the locations that are marked on Ullman's treasure map. In return, the seal These will events guide us to seem, the you know, pretty pretty cute, After fun. Collecting ancient iron coins during this event, you can exchange them for various rewards, including a mini sealy in your preferred color. Ooh. Okay, so in the event preview, it looked like some of the treasure is located underwater, but when I first arrived in Fontaine, I discovered that Seely couldn't follow me underwater. Is this treasure-seeking Seely different? Uh, that is very observant of you. Oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> in this iteration of the Lost Riches event, a new mini Seely named Brilliance will be available. This new mini Seely can travel underwater. I wonder oh, if we are going to get yeah. underwater Seelys. The only thing that you'll discover in Fontaine's countryside. You might also come across a mysterious domain guarded by a unique swordmaster who searches for the meaning of battle. During the Dance of Resolute Will, travelers will get the chance to participate in combat challenges. Each challenge stage will contain two rounds. Travelers must select their party compositions before the challenge starts. One of your chosen characters must be used in both rounds, but no other character can be Oh, okay. interesting. After you complete a blade dance objective during a challenge, you will obtain a heightened verve buff. Defeating opponents while heightened verve is active will grant Jeez. you more points. And She's just mowing them down. And old friend is returning in version 4.3. That's right. It's Who is it. that yeah. guy? Oh yeah. my. <laughs> He looks so around, cool. Then that must mean we'll have a chance to trade a bunch of items for primo gems what? again. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> sign me up, baby. Okay, so I want those primos. The only old friend will be reunited with in version 4.3. Several familiar faces oh, will be joining TCG, the baby. TCG. After this update, travelers will have the opportunity to challenge characters around oh, Fontaine. Oh, yeah. Ooh. A new Fontaine-themed table customization will also be available. Ah, I'm so excited to see players challenge some melazines. I know, so exciting. Mm -hmm. Travelers can look forward to the addition Ooh, look of at that table. new cards, including six new character cards. Wow! Plus five new monster cards, such as Dvalin, Dvalin, and Ejdaha, will be obtainable from the corresponding wow. challenges. But that's not all. 
The Forge Realms Temper event will also be making a reappearance, and there will be an update to the heated battle mode. Be on the lookout for future Yo, announcements. Yo, I like that TCG card. TCG content to look forward to outside the game as well. That's the exciting. The invocation TCG Asia Invitational will officially begin in January 2024. What? Mm -hmm. Nice. Travelers can look forward to some friendly competition between 16 of the top TCG players all across Asia. I heard they're some of the best in the region. So cool. Be sure to follow the Astro Carnival. I gotta check that out. Account to stay up I need to learn a thing or two about, about the TCG. Showdown. Ooh. Oh my gosh, this is all so exciting. I want to become the king of games. <laughs> well, hang on to that feeling because we're taking a short break to look at the next group of redemption. I'm excited codes. about the we'll TCG stuff. More exciting information the event seems like uh, a lot of party Yay. games, you know, fun. And we're back. We've introduced a lot of content and we've gotten a ton of inspiration for our commercial. Honestly, our promotion is definitely shaping up. Totally. But before we reveal our new idea, let's dive into the system optimizations that the project team has prepared for version 4.3. Okay. First, we have some artifact related options. All right, here we go. To we're going to streamline a few things. Sets to choose from. Many travelers may have been hoping for a better and quicker way to filter yes! desired artifacts. Yes, this After is going to be awesome. Three update, travelers can check out artifact set recommendations for a given character Yo! to see what artifact sets active players have been choosing for that character recently. Yo, that is cool. sick. Mm -hmm. In addition, an automatic locking function has been added. Now, when filtering artifacts in your inventory, you can lock the artifacts that fit your oh, filter specifications I like this. in batches. With the automatic locking function, newly acquired artifacts that fit your locking Super criteria cool. will automatically be locked when added to your inventory. Oh, that's awesome. Travelers can have up to two preset auto lock plans for each artifact set. Very Travelers cool. Can choose their own or follow the recommended settings summarized for active player data. Since it may take some time to collect the necessary statistics, new artifact sets will not feature recommended locking settings immediately. Okay. Yes. <laughs> of course, if you can lock artifacts in batches, you can unlock them in batches as well. Travelers can look forward to both of those features in the new update. That's not all though. What? Travelers will be able to oh. sort artifacts by three different attributes. Plus, the artifact Jeez. enhancement screen will allow travelers to add a greater amount of enhancement materials at once. Mm. Nice! The enhancement limit feature will also be available. Hopefully, these optimizations will not only make artifacts easier oh, to find, that is but awesome. also quicker to level. That is going to be perfect to because I really need some good artifacts. To address your survey feedback. For so, my boy Sino. Look forward to further artifact related optimizations in future version updates. I like it. Improvements to equipping artifacts and other artifact related optimizations are all in the works. That like recommended Ooh, artifacts the project team is has made beautiful. To provide smoother ascension and enhancement experiences for travelers. When you level up a character, enhance an artifact, or enhance a weapon, you no longer have to click so many pop-up windows. Oh, that's nice. awesome. As a new mm -hmm. player using a See? few one and two star materials, streamlining the whole process might feel so slow, good, especially with pop up windows appearing. Totally, mm. this new optimization significantly reduces the amount of pop up windows that we have to click through, so travelers can look forward to a much smoother nice. enhancement and leveling process. The next optimization has made it easier to repeat domain challenges. Previously, travelers who tried to continue domain challenges would be sent to the entrance of the domain. Mm. This meant they would have to run all the way to the center to start the challenge. But after this update, travelers who choose to continue in a domain challenge will load right next to the area oh, wow. where you actually start fighting, which is amazing. Okay. <laughs> so happy farming, everyone. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> this yes. should make it way easier for players. That to goes farm back to artifacts. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah true, definitely. True. <laughs> in addition, version 4.3 has made it easier to clear your quest backlog. Archon Quest Chapter 2, Act 4, In the Depths, An Unexpected Reunion, takes place in the underground mines of the Chasm. In the past, travelers had to complete the world quests, Chasm Spelunkers, and the Heavenly Stones Debris before being able to proceed to the Archon Quest. In this update, travelers no longer need to complete those two world quests. Mm. Instead, travelers can speak directly to the miner who issued the commission to unlock a teleport waypoint oh it will take them to the corresponding area oh. and automatically trigger the next is that whole the thing oh, the chasm that's amazing yeah. 
<laughs> this will hopefully oh. make it easier for travelers to quickly progress through Archon Quest. So cool. So that'll make it significantly easier for new or lapsed players to what access the? the Archon Quest and claim those sweet, sweet intertwined fates as fast as possible. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. For sure. Also, one-click expeditions will be available starting in version 4.3. This will allow travelers to claim expedition rewards and repeat expeditions with a single I have to click. start doing travelers that. Travelers will also be able to claim processed ingredients and forged items with a single click. Oh, sweet. That's going to make it easier to collect rewards from Catherine. Definitely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's also a ton of other quality of life improvements in this update. For example, optimizations have been made to enemy tracking with the Adventure Handbook and character selection logic during crafting and forging. In addition, when performing mystic offerings, Travelers will now be able to add artifacts in batches. There's a lot to look forward to, so be sure to check future announcements for more information. Cool. Okay, moving on from optimizations, a new Fontaine-style realm layout will be added to the Serenity Pot. Oh. Simply purchase the corresponding items from Tubby to unlock it. Oh! oh it looks like an aquarium. That is so <laughs> awesome! Travelers can use ocean currents to travel what? between the islands in this layout. Some islands even have ponds that travelers can use to keep fish. That oh, is so cool. Kingdom. It's just so pretty. <laughs> Yo. Oh, yeah. no. And they'll be even prettier once travelers have the chance to make them their own. Mm. I'm so excited to see what that's cool. Come up with. Mm. Especially my friend's teapots. Uh, <laughs> that is so you cool. You just want to copy their designs, don't you? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Me. <laughs> I knew it. I have another piece of super exciting news to share with everyone. Ooh. Okay, I know, right? The annual Genshin Impact online concert, Melodies of an Endless Journey, is coming soon. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I heard this year's concert is going to celebrate Genshin's classic melodies in an entirely new Ooh, way. Ooh, I do Let's love the soundtrack. Some of the amazing moments. I love the music in, in this store. game. This is going to be a must watch. <laughs> oh man, look at that. This is my ringtone. <laughs> da 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 da. Da da da. Oh, so good. Definitely a must watch. What is it? December 22nd? Count me in, baby. I'll be there. Oh, man. I love the music. The 2023 Genshin concert held in Shanghai last September will also be online soon. So stay tuned, <gasps> travelers. Whoa. So mm -hmm. we have two online concerts to look forward to? Yep. Further details will be announced across Genshin Impact's official social media accounts. Cool. So be on the lookout for more information. At the end of version 4.3, travelers can also look forward to the release of the fourth Genshin Impact character OST album, Stellar Moments Volume 4. The album will feature 26 character songs created by the Hoyo Mix team. Wow. Wait, we're finally getting Al Haytham and Wander's OSTs. Yep. <laughs> and Farina's song, too. Her song, All the World's a Stage, has Ooh. already been getting a ton of love. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. Heck yes, man. Okay, well, that's all the new information we have to share about Wow. The so, I guess As that always. Means it's time for the version 4.3 special program to come to a close. Aww. Great Aww. updates. <laughs> but we haven't even come I up love with the a new characters. A boutique commercial. Actually, the events seem fun. It. You're right. What? The special program was a pretty good commercial. I'm certainly not going to forget the name Chioria Boutique after this. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Oh my gosh, we really did cover a lot of important information today. For sure. 
The most important part is our final word from our sponsor, Chioria Boutique. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wow. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I just wanted to let everyone know that I'm so excited to be a part of Genshin Impact, and I cannot wait for all of you to meet Shabras. Uh, totally. Yeah, she's pretty I awesome. Feel exactly the same. Can't wait to see more. Nobis Honestly, both characters action. are really cool. And also, can't wait for little swimming sealies. Yes, they are so cute. So oh my cute. goodness. And I think the new mini games are really fun, especially the one where we get to make like a little movie. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, I am just so glad that the three of us have been able to do this special program together. This has been so oh, much fun. Too. Really fun. And yeah. that's all we have for the version 4.3 cool. special program. I hope that everyone's looking forward to experiencing all this exciting new content for themselves. Be sure to check it out when the update goes live. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, bye. All right, bye. bye guys. <laughs> See you later. Bye. <laughs> Super cool. All in all, really cool. I enjoyed it. I hope all of you enjoyed it as well. Super fun, as always. I mean, version 4.3, it looks like it's going to be a fun one. And, uh, yeah, I guess that is it for today's video. Thank you all for watching, as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!